Hi guys, I'm Kimberly, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a gluten-free pie crust. Now, I don't know about your family, but in my family, we love pies. So when I was diagnosed with celiac disease 10 years ago, pies was one of the first things I tried to tackle. So I've experimented a lot over the years, and this pie crust is definitely the best one. This is a great tool to use when rolling out your pie crust because it gives the pie crust support when you're moving it onto your pie plate. So make sure you get one of these. If you don't have one of these, you can use saran wrap to, to roll it out on it as well. It's just a little bit less, it's just a little bit more flimsy. So we take our pie crust and we want to sprinkle some flour onto our cutting board. So another great thing about these cutting boards is that you want to roll it out to about the size of the cutting board and it just gives you a great visual on how much you need to roll out. So then we take our pie plate and we're going to flip it over and we want to then take our cutting board and we're going to flip it just like this. And we are going to place it in. Okay, so once we put our pie crust into our pie pan, sometimes it can split and fall apart a little bit, but don't worry about that. Just keep putting it together and keep working with it. And you can also take just a piece and put some water on it and just stick it back on and it will look like the perfect pie crust when it comes out of the oven. No one will even be able to tell that it tore a little bit. Just make sure that the pie crust goes all the way to the bottom and there's no bubbles at the, around the edges. And we wanna cut the excess off. So once we have our pie nicely filled, we're gonna take the second half of our pie crust and we're gonna roll it out just like we did the first. So our second pie crust is all rolled out and now we're ready to put it onto our pie. So you really wanna be gentle with your pie crust and slow, go slow while putting it onto the top one. You just want to slowly fold it over and then slowly lift it up so that it completely covers. So now we want to gently push down to make sure our pie crust completely covers the bottom. And we take our knife and we just go along the edge. So then we want to create our edge. You can create your edge however you want. I just like to pinch it 
into the classic pie shape. But you can use a fork, however you want, to just seal the top to the bottom crust. So there you have it, our pie crust is sealed to the bottom. So after my crust has been sealed to the top, I love to take some milk and brush it on, and then I take some sugar and I sprinkle it on top for an extra finish. Once our sugar has been dusted, then we're gonna cut some slits for some vents. You could really have fun with this to make some fun designs and make your pie crust all yours. Now our pie crust is done and it's ready to go in the oven. If you like this pie crust recipe, there's a link down below. Also, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you back soon. Thanks so much for watching.